Hello and welcome. This is uh, an actual Q&A with the world's second tallest elf. It's not my fault. Buddy is freakishly tall and Will Ferrell has two inches on me. He's 6'4 and I'm 6'2 and I'm not going to complain about two inches. Anyway, I'm here to answer some of your questions and give you a better insight into what it is to actually be an elf. Okay, so first things first. The days are long, all right? You're making toys with toys. I got three of the boys back there, and they're making all sorts of toys with toy hammers. And we talked to the big, big dude, Big Red himself. We said, can we get some actual hammers? He told us, you make a toy with a toy, and then you package the toy that you made the toy with. It's just economics. I said, okay. By the way, even though you're working long days, you're making money, but, but you're not making enough. All right, so you're gonna have to get you a second job. It's what we call supplementary income. All right, multiple sources of income. It's the only way you can get by, especially with the way the market is in the North Pole. Because you're thinking, oh, you got some reindeer, you got Santa Claus, and you got the elves, all right? But you know how many elves he has to have to make all those toys? It's packed, it's packed. And, and prices on your, your gingerbread houses have gone through the roof. You would think at least he would let you just live there. But no, no, it's nothing but a big money-making machine. You get the weather out there, it gets really bad. It, the wind gets to blowing. Next thing you know, you've got gumdrops just falling off of your house. It's, it's a disaster. To be honest, we we as elves living out there, we need some disaster relief. Cause uh, where where's our break? You're walking around, right? And you've got bells everywhere. It's like it's like a prerequisite to have bells. All right. And so you, you, you're trying to be quiet, you, you get home late, uh, your elf wife, your elf kid is laying down trying to sleep and you're jingling all the way into the house and you, you wake him up, now the baby's crying, uh, your, your wife's yelling at you. you, you had to work another late night, it's not your fault, you're trying to explain that to her. But she doesn't want to hear it, she's still complaining about the gumdrop that you haven't gotten to, but again, you're working long days. Stay, stay in school. Stay in school, kids. You you really, an elf job seems glamorous, but it's not really something. A another thing, especially in my case, not in all cases, but most elves, their growth plates close very quickly, and they just end up being a certain height. But I, the, the doctors say that every, you know, few hundred years or something, there'll be an elf where the growth plates just don't close, and now you're six foot two, okay? You're six foot two, and then you're coming into a workshop that's built for uh, three to four foot individuals. And I gotta tell you, that just makes the, a lot of things that much more difficult because I, I now I'm starting to get back problems. I'm, I'm 26, okay? You know how long elves live? And my back's hurting. If that doesn't tell you, the long days in, a, in cramped, dark areas, it's not even well lit. Like things, they have one place where they make the, the 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 glamorous toys whenever we have like like news uh you know like fox and cnn they're coming in they're, oh look at santa's workshop look at which by the way i never end up on the cover it's only the uh your typical elves i'm back in that cramped room with the the light that hasn't been fixed and it's flickering <laughs> my eyes need to adjust if i even wanted to leave the room it's red and green all the time and you know what, it could be worse though, right? Because at least I'm getting to make toys. I didn't even talk about Chuckles. Chuck Chuckles the coal elf, okay? So we're making toys at least. He's getting mesothelioma in the mining caves. He has a miner's hat. Yeah, I'm Chuckles. And I'm okay, Chuckles. I shouldn't even be complaining. You guys... After you're done talking to me, you need to go talk to Chuckles. Then, then see how you feel about, because I'm get, at least making toys for the nice kids. He's mining coal for the naughty kids. And I don't know if you've seen this generation of children, but how do you think uh, those lists play out? Naughty versus nice. Who do, you, who do you think there's more of? Because I can tell you, I'm not making nearly as many Tonka trucks as I used to. Also, the old man, Big Red, he's lucky that he has us 
because I'm standing there sometimes. Sometimes he'll put me out front whenever he's taking pictures with the kids and I'm giving him some bubbles and a candy cane and he, they're telling him what they want for Christmas. But to be honest, who do you think's jotting all that down? That's me, I'm jotting it down. This man did not know what a PlayStation was. But don't worry, I know what a PlayStation is. You wanna know why? Cause I'm the one making it happen. But we're the ones loading it, we're the ones supplying the magic for the bag and the sleigh. And by the way, oh, let's talk about the reindeer for a minute. It's, it's a hierarchy, right? You've got Santa, and then the reindeer, and then us, and then Chuckles. And everybody is shitting on everybody. You really need to be talking to everybody on this pyramid. All right, besides Santa, because good luck getting a hold of him, even though, what's he busy doing? He eating your cookies and drinking your milk. Which, by the way, he really should start keto or something. Because I don't know if you've seen Santa, but uh... Yeah, man, those, those reindeer are getting jacked. Because they pulling what is essentially just cinder blocks worth of Santa Claus behind them. All I'm saying is, you know, elf, elfing, elf on the shelf, doing elf-like activities isn't all it's cracked up to be. So only be an elf if you really feel like it's something you want to do or uh, it's a necessity. All right, uh, you, you, you got any more questions? All right, good. Guess who's got to go clock back in? Me and Chuckles. Hey, so if you liked this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike, Chuckles. And uh, until next time, backyard Christmas and stuff. Woo!